Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. In the last video, we worried about the initialization and the basic creation here of our music service. And you learned a little bit about those media sessions here and what they can actually be used for. In this video, we will start to worry about getting our actual data from Firebase. So we will create a class for our music source, basically which will just um, fetch the data from Firebase, which we don't do in this video, but in the next one. But in this video, we will worry about the functionality to just have a clean system that checks if a specific song is already fetched from Firebase or not. So you will actually see what I mean with that when we implement that. Let's just jump into our ExoPlayer package and create a new Kotlin file or class called Firebase Music Source and select class here. So in this class, we will on the one hand just make sure to get all the songs from our Firestore database and also just convert this um, song format that we have here into a format that we actually need for our service so for our media sessions and all that stuff there are some classes we need to know here and that is also something we will do in the next video but for now i want to create another class down here or actually yeah that will be a class an enum class and in that enum class I will define several states this music source can be in. And this is actually not my solution. I found this in Google Sample Project Universal Android Music Player. So you can definitely check that out. I learned all the stuff for this Spotify clone here from their project, but that is a really big project and it's everything but easy to understand. And I just want to make an easier version of that here. But I just found this solution very performant that they chose for that. And they just defined several states here. So on the one hand, state created, we have a state initializing, we have a state after initialization, so state initialized, and we have a state for the error. So in case an error occurs. And I just noticed I have to give that enum class a name. So also give that the name state. And now inside of this Firebase music source class here, what we will do is we will have a private val on ready listeners. So what the heck is that? That will be equal to a mutable list of boolean to unit. So okay. Uh, that is not complicated. What the heck is that what I'm doing here? So because when we download our data from Firestore, then this usually takes a little bit of time. And since we will launch that in a coroutine, we somehow need a mechanism to check when the source or a music source, so all of our songs are actually finished downloading. And in our service, we often need an immediate result for that. And with these on ready listeners, we can just schedule actions that we want to perform when that music source is finished. So it will actually get clearer when we do that. But in the end, that is a list of Lambda functions. And those Lambda functions take a Boolean that will later just um, tell us if the source was initialized or not. And we can just use a function later on that we will call when ready that we can call on the music source so music source dot when ready and then we execute the block of code that comes afterwards when the music source is actually ready and that will just be very useful in our service class later on so don't worry if you don't understand that right now it will get clearer throughout this course so what we will do, first of all, we will create an instance of such a state object to just check the state our, our music source is currently in. So that will be a private var state of type state. And we set that to state created initially. So you can see that is now what we use those states for. Initially, that is state created. When we start to initialize our music source, so before we download our songs, we will set it to state initializing. 
And after we downloaded those, we set it to state initialized. And here for the state variable, we will define a setter. So that will be a little bit more complicated actually, but I will do my best to explain that in simple words. So we want to set a value and in here, we want to check now if this value we pass, so the new value we want to assign to the state, if that is equal to state initialized or state um, error. So let's actually just import that here once. Um, I'll plus enter and press on add import for this. And then we can do the same for this that we don't always have to prepend state there. Um, and of course, if value is equal to that. So what this will do is we will check here if our music source is actually already initialized. So either if it is in the state initialized or if an error occurred, then we know it is finished. So nothing more will happen. In that case, we want to call all of the on ready listeners that we have inside of this list. And we actually want to do that in a thread safe way so that we can also change the value of that state here from multiple threads at once. So what we will do here is we will use synchronized where we will pass our on ready listeners. So that means if we use that synchronized here, then what happens inside of this block will only be accessed from the same thread. So during this block here, no other thread can access this on ready listeners list at the same time. So on the one hand, we want to set field equal to value. So field just refers to the current value of this state and value is the new value. So we will just assign the new value to that field, the new state to that state variable. And afterwards we will use on ready listeners dot for each. So we just loop over all of these lambda functions and call that let's say a listener and just call that lambda function with a Boolean parameter that we need here. And we want to pass state is equal to state initialized. So if we go inside of this if statement here, then we know that the state is either state initialized or state error. In either way, we know that our music source is done basically, so nothing will happen anymore. So we go through the list of our on ready listeners and check or actually and, and just call this lambda function with our state being equal to state initialized. So if our state is equal to initialized, if we already initialized our music source successfully, then we will call this listener with true. And if this state is not equal to state initialized, that means it must be equal to state error, then we will call this listener with false instead. And then when we use this function later on, so these functions that we pass here in this list, then we can simply check if it was successfully initialized or not. And now we also need to consider the other case. So now we consider the case that our value is initialized or error. And the other case would be just the else case so that we want to set the state to either um, created or initializing. In that case, we just want to assign the new value to the field. So field is equal to value. And now comes the actual magic here. So the function that will add these on ready listeners to this list here. So down here, let's actually make a little space here so you can read that better. We will create a private function or actually not a private function we want to access that from the outside so just the function when ready that will also take a lambda function as a parameter of the same kind so action that is the action we want to perform when this particular music source here is ready so when ready um, action which is of type boolean to unit and that will return a boolean whether this music source is ready or not. So inside of that function, we can just check if our state that we created above is equal to state created or if the state is equal to state initializing. 
So if our source is not fully loaded, in that case, what we want to do is then we want to schedule this action for a later part. So when when our music source is actually ready, then we want to call this action. So we just add this action to our list on ready listeners plus equal our action and we return false because at that point our music source is not ready. But in the else block, so in case we either are initialized or have an error, then we know that we are ready. So we can call this lambda function action and this takes a boolean which is again equal to state equal to state initialized. So if this state is successfully initialized, we call this action function with true. And if it is equal to state error, that means we will call this lambda function with false. And after that, we simply return true because that music source here is ready. And that's it for now. I really want to go through this again because this is quite complicated here. So instead of this Firebase music source class, we will later have a list of songs that we got from Firebase, from our Firestore database. And to get these songs, that just takes a little bit of time. But in our service, we often don't have the possibility to easily wait until that is finished. So what we will do is we created this state variable here and this state enum class down here that contains all these different state variables. And what that allows us is to check the current state our music source is in. So in the next video, we will actually download the data from our Firestore database. And before we download that, we will set the state equal to initializing. And after it was downloaded, we set it to initialized. And if an error occurs on that downloading process, we will set it to state error. And we just want, we just use this state here to check that in which state this currently is to schedule an action when this music source is actually finished loading. So we will add this action here in our when ready function to our on ready listeners list. And once this music source is ready, we execute this action. So in our service, we will later just call this when ready function that gives us the option to execute a piece of code. And that piece of code will only then be executed when this music, music source is finished loading. And you will actually see what this is useful for in particular. So I hope this was not too confusing. If you have any questions, then just put them in the comments and I might be able to help you out with that. If you like this video, if it helped you in some way, then please hit the like button and comment below. Also, if you're not a subscriber of my channel yet, then quickly make sure to do that and hit the subscribe button. Do not miss regular Android content every second day. See you in the next video. Have an awesome day. Bye bye.